Well, hello, Crafty Nistas. I'm here with some 6x6 paper pads that I picked up from Target, um, either this last Christmas before or the one before that. Um, the size of paper that I'm going to need for this project is going to be five and a half by five and a half. So I'm only going to need to cut off a half inch off of um, this paper. So I flipped through those paper pads and picked out the designs that I liked. I needed 12 of them. And so I am using my trimmer here to cut them out. And I have a nice stack right here. So after I cut the half inch off, I am going to use my trusty envelope punch board. And hopefully this is set up pretty good so we can see what I'm going to be doing. So then we're going to need two measurements here. It's going to be two inches and then two and five eighths. So I'm going to take the first corner and use the two inch line here. I'm going to take out the scoring tool and I'm going to punch at the top and then score. And then I'm going to push it over to two and five eighths. And then I'm going to punch at the top and then score. And that's it. The rest of the time, I'm just going to line up my lines and when I turn the paper, all I'm going to do is punch and score for three turns. And then the last turn, I'm just going to punch. So we've got that notch there. And then I'm just going to line up my lines. And this paper, I had to pick the most difficult paper. It's hard to see. So I'm just trying to find the line here and then punch and score and then we made two notches so that was that other one that I'm trying to line up and then I'm just going to go ahead and score that and then punch Then I'm going to do another turn trying to find my line and then I'm going to go ahead and score and punch. And then find my line. See, I went past because you can't see the line. And then score and punch. And then the fourth time, I'm just going to toss my scoring tool away. And all I need to do is line up my lines and punch. So right here, I'm going to make the first punch and then I'm going to push over and make one more. And since this was so difficult to see because of the choice of paper that I used, I'm going to show you one more time. And then I'll come back to this green paper since it was the first that I chose. So here, this paper you can see so much better that I'm doing at the two inch line and then scoring and then going over at the two and five eight line and then scoring and then no more measuring. Then I'm just going to line up my lines here. As you can see, I'm lining up that first line here and then I'm going to push it over, line that up, punch and score. Twist it over, score and punch, and then line that up, score and punch. And then now that I have three notches, I don't need to score, and I'm just going to punch twice. So that was much better. Then I just need to next is just cut out my notches at the bottom there. There is a square, 
but I'm going to go back right now and just show you that each time I rounded off my corners. So I just flipped my envelope porch punch board over and rounded my corners off. And so now that I've got them rounded off, I'm going to take a look at my box here and then I'm going to get my everything all folded so once I get everything all nice and folded I'm going to go back to those notches here and I'm going to cut them out I got real close and got out of frame like I normally do wouldn't be me if I'm out of frame so I'm just going to cut out and you're going to know what side because there's only one side that you're going to have that notch in. So you're going to be left with those on the end to score and punt push up. So now that I've gotten all my score lines all bent, I'm just going to go ahead and put some ink. I'm going to ink up all my edges. And I got this idea from Poodle's Paper Craft. Um, she's a UK Stampin' Up! demonstrator. She did something, she did this about four years ago. And I just thought that this would be a good idea. Super economical using the Dollar Tree candy canes. So now I'm just going to shape up my little box here. I'm going to use some glue dots and I'm going to use glue dots because it's a lot easier. I don't have to worry about the glue running in my hands and I can get it to adhere right in the right spot. So I'm just going to take a glue dot at the bottom and then I'm going to take two on the side, one on that flap and then the inside of the other flap here. I'm going to put another and cross that over. And of course, I have to see it right in my face, so it's a little out of frame, but you get the drift. So now the box is complete, and those glue dots are strong, so it's holding together. And it's the perfect size to add the candy canes in. And so I picked up two boxes from the Dollar Tree. And since they were a dollar each, there's six. Um, if you put two in each one, there's six that you can do out of each box. So that works out to about 16 cents. So um, you got 16 cents little treat boxes here. Knowing that everything else I have in my stash, so I'm just counting the treats in the price of this. So I'm just going to take two of these out and slide them in the package. And I'm doing an assembly line here getting ready so I'm just going to dump all mine out right now and then get started. So as you can see those two fit in there nice and snug. And all I need to do now is figure out how I'm going to decorate. I wanted to keep this pretty much simple. I pulled out all my bling. I pulled out Merry Christmas ribbon. But I decided ultimately I had those bowls that I had from Dollar Tree. And then I had some really skinny washi that I picked up from Tuesday morning. And I thought that that would look cute. Here's how they turned out. So thanks for watching Crafty Nistas. See you later.